What's up? My name is Technova here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be going through a whole bunch of fixes for Call of Duty Warzone Season 2 to help fix your game if it's not starting at all, crashing on startup or anything like that. While there are a ton of fixes in this video, I recommend you try the game out at least once in between each fix just to see if your issue is solved as some, one, two, or maybe even all of them will work or won't work. It's really just throwing spaghetti against the wall and hoping something sticks. Usually, your fix will be somewhere within this video and your game will be working by the end of it. Otherwise, if you find another fix, make sure to leave it in the comment down below. And don't forget to go into more details of exactly your issue in case it's something more specific. Regardless, let's get into this video. Before we get into any actual fixes, the first thing you should try is updating your NVIDIA graphics card drivers, AMD graphics card drivers, and Windows. In order to update Windows, simply hit Start, type in Update, and then open up the Windows Update settings. Inside of here, simply click Check for Updates, and then download and install any updates that are available for your computer. Then after a Windows update, make sure that your graphics card driver is up to date using something like NVIDIA GeForce Experience, if you're using a GeForce card, or the AMD equivalents, or of course you can download the graphics driver directly off of your graphics manufacturer's website. But regardless, updating drivers is pretty simple and probably something you've tried already. Let's assume that you've restarted your computer after doing any of those, and let's continue with figuring out a solution. So first of all, we should try and close every program that we can in the background that's not essential to us playing the game or using our computer. To do this, simply hold Control Shift and then press Escape to bring up the Windows Task Manager. Inside of here, we'll simply be scrolling through the list looking for programs that we don't need open, such as, say, Notepad, OBS if you're not currently recording, music software, Discord, and other game platforms, etc., etc. On top of this, if you've closed all of the background processes and it's still not working for some reason, the one next thing that we can try that is a common issue is disabling all of the overlays that we can. What do I mean by this? Well, of course, Discord overlay, Steam overlay if you have it linked to Steam at all, River Tuner or say MSI Afterburner if you've got stats collection, etc, etc. Disabling all of the overlays that could be interacting with the game in any way is usually a good fix. To disable the Discord overlay, for example, simply open up Discord and click the Use the Settings button in the bottom left. Then head down to the Overlay section and simply make sure that Enable In-Game Overlay is turned off. After that's done, simply restart your game and see if things are fixed. But of course, if you've disabled all of the overlays that you possibly could and you've closed all background programs, what can we try next? Well, next up, let's try running the game in admin mode. And if that doesn't work, we'll try compatibility mode. To do this, open up your Blizzard launcher and locate Call of Duty Warzone. You can either click on it at the very top or click all games, all games once again, and locate Warzone here. After doing that, simply click the Options wheel next to Play, and then make sure to click Show in Explorer. After doing this, the place that we've installed it to will open up. Simply open up the Modern Warfare folder, and inside of here we'll find a whole bunch of game files, as well as modernwarfare.exe. Simply select it, right-click, Properties, and then inside of this new window over here, head across to the Compatibility tab. In here, we'll be checking Run this program as administrator, click Apply, OK, and try to launch up the game through the Blizzard launcher. If your game is still crashing out, head back to this Properties menu, Compatibility, and then make sure to click Run this program in Compatibility Mode 4 and select Windows 7. Then also disable Full Screen Optimizations, Apply and OK once again. Launching up the game again should hopefully have your issues fixed. However, if it hasn't fixed anything, we can come back here and uncheck these if you usually play your game without any of these on, as it may be something else causing an issue. Before we progress any further, let's make sure that your Activision account and your Blizzard account are properly linked, as this can cause issues for some people. In the description down below, you'll find a link to s.activision.com. Simply open it up, punch in your details, and then click sign in. I of course am prompted for a two-factor code, which I'll enter now. After signing in, you may see the login button still in the top right. Simply just be patient and wait for it to change to profile. Then click it, and on our profile page over here, under account linking, you should see linked accounts. As you can see, I have Blizzard linked over here, but I don't have anything else linked. If you see link with Blizzard account, make sure to click that, sign in with your Blizzard account, and make sure that things are linked the same as you see here with the Blizzard section. 
Of course, these settings down here don't really matter as these are all up to your preference. As long as your account is linked to the correct Activision account, it should hopefully work. The next thing that we could try is resetting the game settings back to default i.e. resetting key bindings, and most importantly, resetting the graphic settings as these very commonly cause issues with your game. To reset your graphic settings, hold start and press E to bring up a new file browser dialog and simply head across to your documents. Inside of here, open up the Call of Duty Modern Warfare folder and you probably won't have as many folders as me. In fact, you'll usually just have a players folder. Open up the players folder and inside of here we'll have some files. Once again, you'll probably have fewer files, probably just a config file, maybe advanced options and a couple of other things here. All that we have to do is head up a folder and locate the players folder. I'll simply rename it to say players hyphen old backup or something like that. And after the folder name has been changed so that the game can't find the players folder, it will then regenerate the settings the next time the game is started up. If it's suddenly working, you can come back here, delete the new generated players folder and rename the backup back to just players. Launch up the game, see if it works. And if it doesn't, then it's one of your settings causing the issue. You can then fire up the game in safe mode and possibly fix your issue there or reset your settings and start from scratch once again. But what if that doesn't work? Well, if you're using a computer with multiple graphics cards or say an integrated graphics card and a dedicated graphics card, the game may be having issues detecting which one is the correct one. The simplest way to fix this is to open up config.cfg with a notepad or a text editor of your choice and scroll down to the very bottom. You'll see a lot of text, something similar to this, next to set CL negative 192701482. These are the list of graphics cards installed on your computer. As you can see, I've got a 1080 Ti, an NVIDIA GTX 1080, as well as a Microsoft Basic Renderer. All that you need to do is make sure that the graphics card you want to use is listed here and is properly detected. And if it is detected here, simply copy the name in its full without copying any of the text in the brackets next to it. And we'll be scrolling up a little bit until you find this one over here, set CL 203720-2373. It'll have the name of your graphics card in it. For me, it was simply called NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 and not GTX 1080 Ti. This was causing a lot of issues, causing it to start up on the wrong screen, start up on the wrong resolution, and then eventually crashing out. Changing this and saving this file caused that issue to be fixed. Unfortunately for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, that isn't a fix that exists there as there's no explicit graphics card option like there is here, at least as far as I know. Regardless, what else can we do? Well, from here, if you haven't already, it's a good idea to verify your game files or even do it again. Simply open up the Blizzard launcher, head back to Warzone, click the settings wheel next to play, and then simply click scan and repair. This will run through all of the files on your computer and make sure that they match the server's files. If anything's found to be different, say a corrupt file, a partially downloaded file, etc., etc., they will be re-downloaded or patched to be the full correct version that's the same as the server. If for some reason half of your files are outdated, they'll all be updated and everything should match the server exactly, allowing you to play the game once again. This is usually the end all fix and usually fixes a lot of issues if they're coming from the game files rather than your computer itself. However, if you've tried all of these simple fixes, make sure to keep doing Googling as you'll probably find your issue and try to be more specific with the errors that it's giving you if you even see one. I can't point you in the right direction from here as everyone will be different, but this has been a video of some very general fixes that will usually fix all of your issues with the game not starting up or not starting up properly. If you found a different solution and you can provide more information, make sure to visit the comment section down below and leave your solution there to help other people who may be experiencing issues. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful in it. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.